Hello, 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 my brothers and sisters out there. How you doing? How you doing? Your brother Tony is in the house. Welcome to another week, a brand new week that the Lord has made. Come on in, come on in, my brothers and sisters, come on in. Got a good show for you this evening. How you doing? How you doing? How you doing? Don't sit way back there in the back. Come on close to the front so you can hear your brother Tony get into this content tonight. Come on in, come on in, come on in. I'm ready, brother and sister. Come on, it's, time, it's dinner time. So come on in so you can get some good soul food for this evening. Come on in, come on in, come on in. I was looking forward to talking to you, my brothers and sisters, and I am here in the house. I want you all to sit down. I want you to relax because we got something good to talk about. And a few more, I'm going to allow a few more people to come in so we can get to this content tonight. If you have anything to say during the broadcast, by all means, put your comments down there so let's talk about it. I want you all to be a part of this show. So come on in, come on in, my brothers, come on in, my sisters. We're about to get into it in a few seconds. This is going to be a very, very good show this evening. I guarantee you it is. Well, 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 again, how you doing? How you doing? How you doing? If this is your first time looking at this broadcast, allow me to introduce myself. My name is Tony M. Toomer, and I talk about relationships. I talk about relationship pertaining to that of a man and a woman that should be serious-minded. The serious-minded should lead to a commitment, that's verbal commitment, and after the commitment, it should lead to a covenant. And a covenant relationship, that's the type of relationship God prefers. Now, if this is your first time, let me uh, expound to you, not explain to you my position. My position is the position of strictly between the relationship between a man and woman from a biblical standpoint. When I say a biblical standpoint, God had a unique relationship with the man, Adam. Secondly, he had a unique relationship with the woman, Eve. Thirdly, he represented the woman to the man, Adam, Fourth, the man Adam said in the presence of God, bone of my bone, flesh of my flesh. That's the position I'm coming from, my brother and sister, when I talk about relationship. Now, if you like other type of relationship other than the relationship that I'm going to talk about tonight, I encourage you to stay here and listen to what I got to say. Maybe you could get something out of it. But let me be clear, my brother and sister, you have what is called a free will. If you choose to be in the type of relationship that I'm going to describe, all well and good. But if you don't, you have a free will to do whatever you choose to do. But I encourage you to listen to what I got to say. Maybe you can get some pointers out of it. And with that said, we are about to get into tonight's content. Tonight's uh, program or topic is going to be what should you do when a person flake and or ghost you? You understand, my brother and sister? What should you do? When a person, whether that's a man or woman, flake and or ghost you. Now, some of you brothers and sisters, you have experienced one of the two or probably both of them. You have experienced being ghost, I mean, flake or ghost. How you doing, sister or brother Thompson? How you doing? How you doing? She's doing okay. Thank you, brother, for asking about it. She's back there, not that, uh, brother. She's not that sleep. But anyway... Uh, how you doing? How you doing? How you doing? Anyway, as I say, as you come in, my brother and sister, tonight's topic is what should you do when a person flake and or ghost you? And we're going to break that. We're going to break both of those words down. And hopefully, my brother and sister, you haven't experienced that, but I'm going to tell you what to look for. I'm going to tell you the fruits of being flaked on, and I'm going to tell you the fruits of being ghost. Now, we're going to uh, build this story off of what is truly what a relationship is about. Now, when we go to God's word in Matthew 28, 20, again, that's Matthew 28, 20, Matthew 28, 20, Jesus is doing the talking. Jesus said, teach them to observe all things whatsoever I command and lo, I am with you always, even until the end of the world. Amen. How you doing, mother? Now, if you understand it, my brother and sister, is one relationship, one relationship that you know for sure 
that one type of person will never leave you. The only person that's guaranteed 100% that will never leave you or forsake you is Jesus himself. Brothers, a woman will flake on you or ghost you. Sisters, a man will flake on you or ghost you. Now, warning, those of you that decided to sit here and listen to me, let me give you this warning. I'm going to tell you the truth. Now, the truth may hurt. If you one of those people that are very sensitive, you got a sensitive ear, I, I need to tell you right now, you, you had the opportunity to get up and leave and find something else to do because I'm here to give you some salt. I'm not here to give you no sugar, okay? I'm here to give you salt. And we know what salt does. Salt preserve, salt get flavor, and sometimes salt irritates. Some of the things that I'm going to say is to preserve you, is to give you flavor, my brother and sister, and most of all, it more than likely going to feel salty which means that it's probably going to agitate some of you, okay? That's what it uh, it means. Now, I'm also here to give you facts. And when I give you facts, my brother and sister, I'm not about giving you no fantasy. I'm not here to come to you telling you that relationship is all going to be happily and ever after. That's not reality, okay? All relationship, no matter what type of relationship you're getting, how you doing, Sister Flo, all relationship, you should enjoy the fullness and fruit of a relationship. But the best relationship, my brother and sister, is going to come to an end. I always tell you, my brother and sister, the best, how you doing, Sister Flo Mark? The best relationship eventually is going to come to an end. Everything in this world has a beginning date and it have an expiration that day. This is what we call time. If you come into this thing called time, there's a beginning and there's an end. There's no happily ever after. It's only one happily ever after when it comes to a relationship. That is, my brother and sister, if you make a decision to be with Jesus himself, that's the best relationship you can have. But now we're going to talk about the relationship between that of a man and a woman. Now, we're going to talk about what flaking means. And we're going to talk about what ghosting mean, okay? Now, flaking and ghosting are related, okay? They are cousins. Being flaked on and being ghosted, are, is, they are kin. They are next to kin. Now, what does flake mean? Some of you brothers and sisters, you have experience being flaked on. So what does flake mean? Flake, my brother and sister, it is defined as someone who genuinely make plans with you, promising to do things with or for you, but can never seem to follow through when confronted with their behavior, they will usually get defensive and run away. Now, listen to me carefully. There are some of you brothers and sisters, you are dealing with a person that is flaky. You're dealing with a person that is flaky. And like I'm telling you, you need to listen to what a flaker is. How you doing, my little sister Renee? A flaker is someone, listen to me carefully, don't hear me, listen. A flaker is someone that genuinely make plans with you. This type of person will make plans with you. This type of person will promise to, to do things with or for you but would never seem to follow through when confronted with their behavior, they usually get defensive and run away. The second part of this is the kissing call. It's called being ghost. Some, and I'm not talking about ghosts that come on stars. I'm talking about when it comes to a relationship, I'm talking about being ghost. Some of you brothers, some of you sisters have experienced being ghosts. Ghost is not a real good feeling. Okay. Now, Ghost, being ghost, my brother and sister, it is defined as ending a personal relationship with someone by and without explanation withdraw from all communications. That's what ghosting mean. Again, what does ghosting mean? Ghosting mean 
a personal relationship with someone by by suddenly mm -hmm. with our explanation would draw from all form of communication. How you I'm back and seem like I got a little technical difficulty, but I'm back, my brother. So let me tell you this. Again, those of you that are coming in, tonight's topic is what should you do when a person flake or and or ghost on you? Some of you brothers and sisters, like I said, you know what being flaked on, and some of you know what ghosting is, and they are related. And I just expounded, not explained to you what happened. Now, we're going to break these up into two parts, okay? We're going to discuss being flaked on, and then second, we are going to discuss about being ghosts. How you doing, Sister Keisha? Now, my brother and sister, flake, if you have been, listen to me carefully, my brother and sister, if you have been involved with members, plural, if you have been involved with members of the opposite sex, more than likely, someone that you were interested in did or will eventually flake on you. And you know what I mean by flaking. These type of people, I'm going to tell you again, they will plan to do things with you. They will prompt to do things for you and with you, but never will follow through. And when you go and confront them about it, about their behavior, when you call them on the carpet, they're going to get very defensive because they're going to make it seem like you don't know what you're mm -hmm. talking about. And then they're going to run away. Let me give you, let me tell you something. Now, out of the two things that I'm telling you about my brother and sister, I know for a fact what flaking is because believe it or not, your brother Tony, he have been flaking on the folk. Let me give you, let me give you an uh, situation. In, in, when I was in the dating field, and w I'm primarily talking about when you're single. Get this. I'm talking to you single brothers and single sisters. I'm going to use myself as an example. It's like if you make plan, if I made plan with a woman and it seemed like she's on board with it. She's on board with it. She agreed to everything, right? And then when it comes time to going through with what was said, that could be a date. Yeah, let's say it's a date or whatever. And that person calls you or texts you at the last minute and tell you that there's, there's something else that has to be done. And that person puts you on the back end, which means that that person put something or someone above you in priority. Some of you brothers know what I'm talking about. Some of you sisters. Sister, let me tell you. Let me uh, give you a situation, sister. Have you been with, have a man ever told you, we're going to do this, right? We're going to do this or that. And you get your hopes up real high. And when you get your hopes up real high, this man calls you or texts you at the last minute. And... He called it a polite thing by verbally telling you, hey, something came up. These are key things you need to listen for, my, my sister. Something came up, and I got to take care of this. And they might even use the word, I'm sorry. Or if they don't even use the word, I'm sorry, they'll say, well, something came up, or I got to handle some, but, and I can't make it. And when they say something, I can't make it, or something came up, then they don't even make no follow-up plans. They don't even make no follow plan. They, that man, sister, is showing you who is important, and it's not you. It's somebody or something else. And more than likely, when a man going to flake on you, sister, listen to me carefully. That man, you have to be very weary of him. Brothers, if you commit to doing something with a woman, and she agrees to it, but she don't come through, and she come up with some, some bogus stuff, and you'll be able to tell it. If she call you or text you and say, look, um, I know you and I made plans, but I'm going to do this with another person or something came up, don't buy it. 
What that person is showing you, bro, that woman is showing you is that you're not that important in her life. Now, how you doing, Sister Shira E. Smith? Now, what is ghosting about? Ghosting my brother and ghosting my sister, this is a little more advanced than being flaked on, okay? It's a little more advanced than being flaked on. There may be someone that you are interested in, my brothers and sisters, and probably you are in love with that man or woman. But for some reason, they stopped communicating with you. And when you reached out to him or her, he or she did, do, does not respond to you. Some of you brothers and sisters have experienced it. Let me give you a, a situation. Brother, everything is going good with this woman. It, the, the vibes are good. It, you enjoy, you can't wait to see her in everything. You've been, you been that man, man to her and you think everything is going right. And all of a sudden, you call her, she don't answer the phone. You text her, she don't reply back. I mean, prior to that, she would pick, she would uh, respond to your call. Prior to that, she would respond to your text. And not only that, sometimes she would initiate a call or a text. Not only sometimes, brother, do you make plans to be with her, she make plans to be with you. But on this particular occasion, whether it be day or night, you and her have plans, brother. And for some reason, she does not respond to your, your, uh, you trying to communicate with her. Also, the same thing, sister. There's this man. You, you, um, you would mind your own business, sister. You were minding your own business. And then this man come up. Y'all have a good conversation. The vibe is appear to be right. And you all start doing things together. What I'm talking about most of my brother and sister, I'm especially talking to you, brother and sister, if you're single. Listen up. Listen, don't hear me. Now, sister, back to you. Everything is going okay and stuff. You and this man, you y'all doing your thing. You enjoy one another company. You you tell your girlfriends about this this Mister Nice guy. You might want to. You might even take around your family or friends or whatever. And everything appears to be good. But one day or one night, this guy. You wonder, you, you see, you start getting his pattern and behavior down, right? But one day or whatever, something happened, and you reach out to, you, you say, hmm, we ain't talked in X amount of time. So you reach out to him, sister. You call him. It goes straight to his voicemail. And then he don't call you back. So you might text him because you might be thinking, how you doing, Mary, uh, sister Mary? Then you might be thinking, okay, I'm going to text him. And he doesn't respond to your text. Prior to that, my my sister, you would call him. He would call you back in a short period of time, whether he busy or not. Or when you text him, he will send you a quick text. If he were busy or whatever, he would tell you to get back to him. But on this occasion, he does not call you. Neither does he respond to your text. Days and weeks go by. He don't respond to you, period. Sister, you may, out of curiosity... If you know he's on Facebook or something, he might be sad to say, this for you brothers too, when it comes to a woman, she may block you. You ain't did nothing to this person. Then you go to another page, you, then you might go to another page and you see where this person is still on social media or whatever, doing the same thing, but he or she, for some reason, they block you. And you wondering, my brother and sister, why this individual is not contacting you. You be wondering, what did I do? Why this person does not want to communicate with me no more? What did I do? Or what did I not do? You see, he or she is not trying to respond to you. And you see, what you're really looking for, my brother and sister, you're looking for some form of closure. That's what you're looking for. You're looking for closure. Key said, I thought I would ghost one, but... He was in a car accident. Yes, that's understandable. Things like that come up. Keisha does come up. Now, my question, my brother and sister, this is the question. What should you do, brothers? What should you do, sister, if someone flake on you or does the cousin part ghost you? Let's, let's go to our uh, flaking first. 
my brothers and sisters, if you are going to continue, listen to, to me carefully. If you are going to continue possibly, possibly dealing with someone and you're single already, that's the key thing. You're single already. And I do mean already. If a person start flaking on you, listen to me carefully. If a man, sister, if a woman brother flake on you one time, not two, one time, this is my recommendation. Especially if you still planning on seeing that person. Always my single brothers, always my single sister have a plan B. Keisha said, why you think they go flake or block you? I'll get that shortly. Um, sister and brother, if a man or woman ever flake on you one time, don't even go to two. Have a plan B. What is and what why am I saying plan B? I'm talking to you, single brother and single sister. You gotta understand it, brother and sister. There's brother, there's no woman that you put on a pedestal. Sister, there's no man that you put on a pedestal. There's always someone else out there for you, brother, and there's always someone out there for you, sister. Remember what your brother Tony said. Always have a plan B. What is a plan B? Mm -hmm. A plan B, my brother, and a plan B, my sister. You may be asking yourself, a plan B is defined as a backup. Have you a backup? Now, what is, if you have a backup, it's a lack of commitment. The reason why you have a plan B when somebody flake on you is because you know that person is not committed in mind. You know, before that person can be committed in mind, that person is not serious about you. Anyone that flake on you is not serious about you. And let me tell you this, my brother. Let me tell you this, my sister. From my own experience, my own personal experience, your brother Tony, I know I'm not all that in a bag of chips, but when a woman flaked me the first time, that's it. I'm not, I, there's not one woman, and I'm 60 years old, there's not one woman that could say, that if I if she attempt to flake me, that I ask her what happened. If a woman uh, tried to play the old mental game mm -hmm. with me and tried to flake me, how you doing, Sister Lisa? I never went to a woman and said, why you do that? Looking for some explanation. I didn't do that. Let me tell you how, how your brother Tony did. This is what your brother Tony did. When a woman flaked me, I went on with my life. I don't I didn't ask her why she did what she did because you showed me how, who you are. If you were if you can remember my brother so the three statements that I'm about to make. Two biblical and one is non-biblical. When you go back to uh I believe it's uh Isaiah, I believe it got in there a uh, Ethiopian cannot change the color of his skin. Neither can a leopard change its spot. That's in the Old Testament. Jesus said, you could tell a tree by the fruit that it bears. My Angelo said, whenever a man or woman, when a person show you who he or she is, believe it. So what those three examples that I just gave you, you got to believe what you what that person put in front of you. Don't try to question why a person do something, did something. Don't question it. Just go on with your life. Let me tell you something, my brother. So, like I said, I'm not all that. There have been there have been different women that have got to sit with me in the past because I I I believe in Plan Bs. If if you want to play games with me, I'm gonna go to a Plan B. I don't. I didn't have time for it because, see, my mentality is there were too many women out there. I'm talking about from a single standpoint. I believe strongly in Plan Bs. You know why I believe strongly? Because 
the wall, the Walmart wall, women that I was seeing every now and then, once they start playing a little petty game, I didn't have time for it. I didn't have time for it. I moved on with my life. Since you, since a woman wanted to play game with me, I didn't tell that woman my next step. You didn't tell me your next step. So I'm not going to tell you. The Let me tell you something, my brother and sister. This is a fact. Some women, prior to my wife, I told I told my wife some things right before we got seared and before we committed to one another. I told her some things. And I did not think that I had to justify while I got married, okay? I was called into question, why did you get why did you get married? Why did you get married? I and this what let me tell you something, my brother. Sister. I felt some kind of way. You hurt me because you got me. I didn't hurt you because I got married. I didn't have to. I didn't have to tell you what I was doing. You did what you were gonna do. I went by your action. You didn't tell me why you were playing games. You didn't tell me why you were flaking. So I didn't have to justify anything. That's why I believe my brother and sister strongly. If you're single, have a plan B. You didn't tell me nothing. I could tell that you want to play games. And you see, the thing about it, when you play games, the person thinks that you are going to always be there. That's the thing about it. A lot of these narcissist people, they think you're going to be there. But like I said, there's not one woman, and I'm 60 years old, can say that I asked her why she, I didn't even question her behavior. I let her have it. But then it came around. You see, a person that flake on you, they want you to justify to them why you moved on with your life. You don't have to justify, my brother and sister, why you moved on with your life when somebody flake you. And as I said, you all know what flaking means. Flaking is when you have made plans with someone. They promise you things to do things with you, but they never seem to come or follow through. And see, that's what these people don't understand. They say so much, they promise so much, but they don't follow through. Lisa said, when we got a made up mind, my partner felt the same way. Uh, amen. So if you if you deal with someone, my brother and sister, that does not follow through the first time, plan B. Never wait, brothers, if you're single. Sister, never wait on someone when they flake on you. Because the chances are they're going to see that if, if they flake on you, they could keep doing it. And they're going to always put you on the back pedal. Whatever come before you, they're going to put it in front of you. Don't take a flaker seriously, okay? Never take a flaker seriously. Now, if you are someone, now you got to understand in my brother and sister, listen carefully. If you are someone playing B, you, they will constantly feel hesitant about committing Never put 100%, listen to me, never put 100% into excuses. Some of you brothers and sisters, you let a person off by excuses. That they, and here it go. They were busy. This is the key thing you sister and brother need to listen to. When you hear things like, I was busy. These are key words. I was busy. Something came up. My phone needed charging. I can't see you because I was doing this or that. You have to be on the lookout, my brother and sister, for your plan B. I always have a plan B. You don't want your life to be put on hold for a man or a woman. You got to understand that. Now, ghosting. My brother and sister, if a man or woman ghosts you, you're going to feel like you want closure. You want to understand why that man or why that woman stopped communicating with you. And that's natural to think about what have I done or what have I not done. 
And if you want an explanation, but everything does not deserve an explanation. Let that man, sister, play Casper. Brother, let that woman play Casper too. If they want to play a ghost, let them disappear. That's another, this another thing, my brother and sister, when you have to have a plan B. You sing a brother, you sing a sister. Have a plan B. Let's say it together. Have a plan B. Have a plan B. Have a plan B. If you're single, you're not. If you see, if you single, my brother and sister, and you're not in a serious and committed relationship verbally, commitment, and you and you ain't got no plan or no no discussion about you gonna get married to that person, you my brother and you my sister, you are what is called a free agent. No man could tie you up, sister. No woman could tie you up, brother, when they ghost you. Now the thing about ghosts. Ghosts sometimes reappear. And what the classical thing a ghost would do? When a ghost reappear, that ghost may text you what appear to be out of blue and say, what you doing? Or a ghost might say something like, how you doing, stranger? I ain't heard from you in a while. You know, they'll say, I, I haven't heard from you in a while. You know why? Because you, didn't, you did not communicate with me. And I'm telling you, my brother, so not only does a ghost reappear, people that flake on you, they'll disappear. But let me tell you about a flaker. A flaker will come to you when he or she is bored. Because you see, they think you're going to always be there. That's what a flaker would do. They think that you will always be there. A ghost kind of think that way too. But like I said, a ghost and a flaker... They are ki they are kissing cold, and it's all about like what Lisa say. It's a game. It's a game on both ways. Let me tell you something, my brother and sister. Listen to me carefully. Especially, and I talk to you, brother and sister. I'm talking about you, spiritual minded brothers. I'm talking to you, spiritual minded sister. You, my brother, and you, my sister. You have a purpose in life. You have a purpose in life. Your, you got a gift. Why are you dealing with someone that is not willing to put 100% in the relationship? You don't need nobody that's going to put 99.9%. .9 you need a person to put 100% in the relationship. That start from flaking and uh, ghosting. Once you, you see, it normally start out most relationship, then the ghost, you're going to deal with flakers. Majority of the men and women you're going to deal with, my brother and sister, they are flakers. They are flakers. And I'm telling you some key things. When you have to listen to when they say, like I say, I'm, I was busy. How long does it take to return a phone call? How long does it take to reply to you through a text? Does it take days? Does it take hours? Even if a person is working eight hours, that person normally going to have two breaks or 15 minutes. That person normally going to have an hour or lunchtime. That person going to be checking his or her phone off and on. Most people that got cell phone, they're going to check those phone off and on. Even if it's not break time or lunch time, they're going to check the old phones. If a man, and then this is another stupid thing that a flaker would say. Uh, did you call me? Did you call me? They seen your number on the phone. They ask you that stupid question. I, 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 you know, when a person told me something like that, you seen my number. You know, in my, why ask me that stupid question? You seen my number, so why are you going to ask me, did I call you? You seen my number, or oh, here go another stupid thing. Uh, did you text me? Seen the text? Why are you asking me? Did I text you? That's what I'm telling you, my brother and sister. Don't go for that stupid, that stupid stuff. And let me tell you what happened when you, how do you deal with what? When you deal with a flake of my brother, when you deal with a flake of my sister, when you go on with your life, they're going to think you did them wrong. I guarantee you, 
They're going to think that you did them wrong. You did not do a flake of wrong. You were serious about your life. A flaker is not serious about life. There are flakers that's 30, 40, 50, and going on 60 plus years old. There's so many flakers out there. This is not only for men. There are men and women that flake too. So once you deal with a flaker, how you doing, Brother Mosley? Fact, everybody phone worked the same way. Show Miss Call. Hey, hey, man, brother. You got to understand that, my brother and sister. Don't deal with all these flake people. The flake people, let me tell you what flake, flaky people are going to do. They're going to get mad at you. They're going to, they, when you talk to them, if you ever decide to talk to them, they're going to give you some sob story like you did them wrong. When you went on with your relationship, when you get into a committed, when you get into a serious, committed and covenant relationship with someone, the flakers, they're going to try to make it seem like you the bad guy or you the bad woman. Because you went on with your life. You got with someone that was serious. You got with someone that was committed verbally. You got with someone that wanted to uh, go all the way. A flaker is best for another flaker. A flaker is never happy. A flaker is always waiting for what he or she think is down the road. Flaker live in, in a, a fantasy land. That's what flaker do. They live in a fantasy land. But I'm telling you, if you deal with a flaker, he or she wants you, let me tell you, deal with a flaker, my brother and sister, and get married. Deal with a flake and get married. He or she going to get pissed off at you. They're going to get pissed off at you because you know what? Because you did not go through the manure. They wanted you, they didn't they didn't think you you seen the manure while they were playing games. They gave you a whole bunch of manure. But you seen through it. And you went on with your life because you know that they are flakers. They can't they don't see that they flaker. They they walk around like they cool. They walk around like they upright. They got a whole bunch of integrity, which they do not. They do not. A flaker does not have all that. A flaker is always going to be a flaker. And I'm telling you, my brother and sister, my single brother and sister, they're going to always, when you go with your life, they're going to they're going to point out things that you did what you didn't do. You know why? Because they're trying to, they don't want to take responsibility. Flakers will not take responsibilities. And let me tell you something, my brother and sister. If you decide to stay, be involved with a flaker, that's if you decide to, listen to me carefully. If you decide to be involved with a flaker, don't take him or her serious. Never take him serious. I'm not, what I'm about to say, don't play games with them, but don't take them serious. If he or she said they're going to do something, don't take them serious. Have a plan B. Have a plan B, my sister and brother. Have a plan B. Once they show you one time, don't let them go two times. Don't let them do it two times. Because the more they do it, the more they're going to get, uh, their conscience going to be seared. And they're going to get comfortable playing games with you. They're going to contact you at the last minute when they get bored or when they don't have nothing to do. Like I said, when you hear those words like, I was busy, that's a warning. When they call you at the last minute and change plans and don't have no backup plan for you, that's a warning. You're not that important. You're not that important. Brother, sister, you are important. You know why you're important? Because you, brother, and you, sister, you are a child of God. Flakers are worldly people. That what a flaker. A flaker is a worldly man or a worldly woman. You're not a worldly man. You're not a worldly woman. You are either a son or daughter of God. You deserve the best in your life. Flakers is like the devil. Those are his children. 
The devil transformed himself into an angel of light. The devil is a counterfeit. Flakers are counterfeit. Don't trust them. One time they flake on you, plan B. And then again, that person that ghost on you, stop wasting time trying to find closure to the relationship. You don't need closure. They showed you enough. That man or woman, whatever the reason was why he or she decided to leave you alone, leave it like that. That's your closure. You don't need no explanation from them. Let them go. The best thing to do, my brother and sister, when somebody, especially when somebody ghosts you, go ahead and get rid of their telephone numbers because they don't try to reach out to you or nothing. What they're telling you is you are knowing, you are knowing fact in their life. When a man or woman does not reach out to you, my brother and sister, they're telling you something. You got to ask yourself this question when it comes to flakers and when it comes to ghosts and people. Ask yourself this question. Why do I do all the calling? Why do I do all the texting? Why do I do all the making arrangements? Why do I be the finance? Why do I take on the financial burden of this relationship? Why do why am I investing more into relationship than that person? When you ask yourself these kind of questions, my brother and sister, this telling you that you're not that with that person mind or heart. You're setting yourself up to be used. That's what you're doing. My brother and sister, do you want to be used? Do you really want to be used? Do you, they, a flaker, know that they sizing you up and they're going to use you for their benefits. A flaker will get in contact with you when he or she wants and needs something. You'll notice this about a flaker. You're going to be doing all the aggressive movement in the relationship. He or she might respond to you when you call. They might pick up the phone. When you text, they might reply back. But do they ever call you? Do they ever text you? Do they ever volunteer? Do they ever do it? They're telling you so, my brother and sister. If you doing all the uh, reach out and he or she does only respond, they tell you something. Because they tell you that this person is not willing to put 100% into you. So if you decide, listen to me carefully, if you decide to deal with a flaker, you not always need what? A plan B. Let them get mad. I'm talking to you, single brother and sister. Let them get angry at you. Let them get upset. You, and you're not trying to prove nothing. What you're doing, you know, you see that man or woman for who he or she is. You know they full of crap. You know they full of crap. They come off like they cool. They come off like they understand. They come out like they're compassionate, but they are counterfeits. You don't owe them anything. Like I'm telling you, my brother and sister, when you deal with a flaker, don't ask that flaker why he or she changed their plan at the last minute. If you want, if you got some see, let me give you an example. If you want, if you say for instance, you're single and you want to just go out of time with someone, okay? Yeah, my sister said, have spirit, goodbye. Let me tell you something. Let's say, for example, you plan on going on a cruise with someone, my brother and sister, just a cruise, okay? Why would you plan on going on a cruise with a flaker? He or she already showed you that they'll flake on minor things. Why would you set up something like a cruise? Doesn't make sense, does it? You know what? You hoping and dreaming that he or she will all of a sudden get serious and will keep his or her word. Then they call you at the last minute and say, hey, I can't go. You just spent all that money and stuff for that man and woman to say, I can't go. Something came up. Then when you say, well, you told me to go ahead and buy the tickets 
or let let not even say a, let not even say a cruise. Let's say I'm gonna give you a real good example, brother and sister, Babyface and Kim will be here in the month of May. Babyface and Kim will be here where I live at in the month of May. Let me give you a good example. Say for instance, brother, you go ahead and buy some Kim and Babyface tickets, right? Because you asked her, would she go with you? And she said, yeah, I like myself some Kim. I like myself some Babyface. You go ahead and purchase a ticket, right? Coming up close when they about to come to your the city, and then she called you and said, I can't make it. Or she might wait to the last minute or she, before the last minute. She called herself out of courtesy, calling you and said, I can't make it. Now, you have purchased those Kim and Babyface tickets. You bought, you bought two tickets, brother. You bought a ticket for yourself and you bought it for her. Now she flaking on you. Let me tell you why she flake on you. It's not that she's busy. It's not that something came up. She's deal Listen to what I'm saying. She's dealing with someone else, brother. Listen to what I'm saying, brother. She's dealing with someone else. She's not going to help tell you that. On the flip side, sister, what if you what if you, sister, you, 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 let's talk about baby face and Kim again. You, sister, mm -hmm. this man tells you, I got tickets to baby face and Kim and you get happy and you tell your girlfriends, child, I'm going to see baby face and Kim and May. They'll be in the city. You all happy. Coming up, this guy tell you something like he got to work. I'm sorry I can't take you. I got to work. Olivia said, sound like you know my flaker, but what's worse when your so-called friend know? That, that's, that's something, Olivia, when you're so-called friend, though. That's something in itself. So let me tell you. He tell you, I got to work. He tells you something came up. Worse than that, my brother and sister, it get close to the concert date. Very close, the day of the concert. Brother, the day of the concert, she calls you, the flaker. She called you and said, I can't go. My cousin just came in town. Sister, he tell you, I can't go. My dog got hit. I can't go. I'm, I'm distraught. All kinds of excuses. That's what these flakers do. All kinds of excuses. So I'm telling you, my single brother, I'm telling you, my single sister, before I leave, if they flake on you one time, always, listen to what I say, always, always, always have a plan B and don't feel bad about a plan B. Never. Especially you're still going to deal with, you might still deal with them off and on, but don't take them serious. Don't take them serious. Have your plan B. Make sure your stuff is secure because when this flaker don't come through, you can still roll. And it won't, if you have a plan B, my brother and sister, you won't get mad at him. You won't get upset at him because you know how he or she is. You know. So let them flake and go on with your life. Get serious with someone that want to get serious with you. And before I wrap this up, those people that ghost you, that is a definite no-no. Don't play with them. 
those the people I, I told you, my brother and sister, that out of the blue, what you been doing? How are you, stranger? What you been up to, stranger? Don't deal with them. Brother Mo said one question. I once told a woman I would take her to dinner. When I got back in town off the road from work, work was extended. I couldn't make it. I told her the situation, but I sent her the money. I was planning for dinner. Was I considered? No, brother. No, you wasn't. No, you told her the truth. And plus, this is what you did, which is good, brother. This is what you did was good. You came up with a backup. You didn't leave the lady hanging. You came up with an alternative. You did not leave her hanging. Flake could leave you hanging. That was not no flaking move, brother. Because when you said, I sent her the money, I was planning for the dinner. Was I considered flaking? No, brother, you wasn't. Now, it's a different if you didn't do that part. At least you had something to make up for why you didn't do it. So you was on point, brother. That the flakers, they don't they don't do things like that. They don't do it. They'll just say something came up, and more than likely they'll tell you something like, Well, this person gonna do so I'm gonna do this with this person. A lot of times they don't do it. But I tell you, listen to these words. And you got to see these people for how they are, my brother and sister. See them for how they are. Don't look look at them from a factual position. Don't look at them from no fantasy position. Don't ever do that. Because if you do it, you send yourself up to be you. If you continue to not have a plan B, you going to start catching feeling for those flakers. They know you got feelings for them. It, if you call and they don't respond, flakers. If you text, they don't respond, flakers. But they would they would do it on his or her time. Flakers do things that's convenient to them. That what flakers do what's convenient for them, not for you, but for them. The other ones. Those ghosters don't never deal with ghosts. You're not a ghost hunter. If they say, hey, stranger, how you been doing? You just say, I'm doing fine. Thank you. Click. That's how you deal with a ghost. If they want to play ghost, don't play game with those ghosts. Ghosts are dangerous. Ghosts are dangerous. They have a tendency to pop in and out, and they'll go for an extended period of time. They don't want nothing to do with you. Let me tell you what people that ghost normally do. People that are ghosts, they're dealing with other people. Don't ever think that a ghost is just sitting down not doing that. People that ghost you, more than likely they're in a relationship with someone else. And when they're in a relationship with someone else, everything appears to be cool, they're not going to bother you. But when trouble's in the house, that's when a ghost of normal reach out to you. So they didn't just contact you just to see how you're doing. They contacted you to see do you still have that door or window open for them? But they're dealing with someone else. Believe me, my brother and sister, flakers and ghosts, they dealing with other people. They're dealing with other people. I hope that you all listen to that warning. I don't want you crying your tears out. Your brother Tony have told you. Listen, what should you do when a person flake and or ghost you? Plan B, go on with your life. Don't deal with them. Peace. Well, don't be serious with them. Especially the flakers. Don't be serious. Ghosts don't deal with them here. Peace out.